everyone. Uh, my name is Ting Sun. Uh, today I'm going to present you about this little Ruby script which can be used as your CMS. It's called Jekyll. So, uh, so basically what Jekyll does is it takes the stuff in your local, local, local development computer, local development machine, like templates, like your contents, like your block entries, like your codes, like Ruby codes, whatever, and turn into. <laughs> HTML files. So yeah. Uh, so that's about Jekyll, right? And, uh, I'm going to do a live, live demonstration of Jekyll. So, uh, <coughs> we do better. So, you can tell us who's the founder of Jekyll. Who's the creator? What? Who's the creator of Jekyll? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the most famous question. Jekyll is created by this guy called Tom Preston Warner, working for GitHub. Because he wants to find a, a better way to block, he do not want to use any CMS or. Uh, so, uh, because and he wants he wants he, he got sick of losing his database, uh, the database and stuff, and he wants everything in Git because obviously he works in GitHub. So that's why he started Jekyll. So let me just create a project first. So you just make a directory, you know, cam sodium. Uh, what's the name? Actually, I forgot what directory I have to do. Let me check my notes. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a big thing. This, this command is better. <laughs> so create a folder with all this subfolder inside. So Jekyll is just a Ruby gem. So to install, you just gem install Jekyll. Right? And probably takes a while and I've already installed, so never mind. And, and you change to the Jekyll folder, and you have to. Oh shit! I have to create that. Uh, RF, RF. Yes, I did that. And uh, change into the folder. Too much stuff. And oh yeah, so I'm going to create all this stuff inside this folder. Uh, I'll go through them one by one. So config the YFL is the configuration of this. Thing, uh, I'm going to create a layout file called default.html where all the content in the folder are going to use this file as a template. I'm going to create a CSS file, layout.css, and uh, uh, three pages in my CMS, uh, in whatever, in my site, index.html, about.html, and block.html. And after I create it, okay, so I can write the code. So, uh, firstly, I'm going to write some HTML code. Oh, let's see. Uh, Don't make noise. Yeah. <coughs> Can I see, huh? Like this better? Okay. So, uh, I already write some shortcut, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, uh, so the Jekyll uses a template called the Liquid Template Engine. So, and uh, so this one is the title. It's a like, variable for your program. This is the title for your page. And this is our, these are the links, Macam Sodium and few navigation link. And these are the content. So now I'm going to create my content. Uh, so I choose go to my index.html file and create my content. I'm not going to cheat this time. <laughs> they are, uh, so they I put default because default for the default the HTML and or title uh, home page, right? And here you can write any any anything any HTML code. So I'm just going to write a <laughs> demo L Jepson Dipsum, right? And so I've finished my index.html, now I'm moving to my about page. 
Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to try to use Markdown. Anybody use, know Markdown, right? Yeah. Markdown is awesome, and I'm going to use it. And yeah. So I create a Markdown page for this one. And then I'm going to generate, oh yeah, I forgot my CSS. So I'm going to write my CSS now. That's <laughs> my CSS. This is a girlfriend, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You couldn't see it. Yeah. So I'm going to generate a, the Jekyll file. So to generate a Jekyll file, you just type Jekyll. So to generate a file, you automatically create a folder called and the site and these are all the HTML file. The 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 style sheet isn't working because it's uh, made for servers uh, because of the slash thing. Yeah. So uh, in, instead, I'll just run the server. So Jekyll, that's just server, and uh, uh, go to the 4000 port. And you see? Woo! So, so this, this, is, this page is created with Markdown. I said 3D this page. Create uh, the Markdown. And, uh, Textile is okay, right? Yes, yes, it's our discount. This is HTML. And now I'm going to show you how do I block using Jekyll. Right. So first, I think, let me check the notes. Ah, OK. So I'm going to go to, uh, I've recreated a block.html. And so you need to answer a snippet of Ruby code, something that looks like this. So, uh, so this is a very simple for loop. Uh, to look for all the files inside this special folder called post, which I've created previously. And now I have to like create my own blog post. So you just choose a create file, create a new file. And I think the format is something like you have to put the year first, and month, and day, and title. Right? Quite sure. Right. So I created a file and uh, it's using the default layout. It's wait, can I cheat? Oh shit, I can't. Uh, uh, no more shortcuts. Title, uh, <laughs> block entry. Right, so I create a markdown. Hello world. Hello world. Hello world. Hello world. Hello world. Hello world. Right, so Jekyll should check that. Uh, block page, no, this is an entry, and I'm not sure why it's happening. Uh, yeah, extra slash. Yeah. yeah, actually, I actually don't need to rerun it. I just need to touch, set a configuration, auto equals to true, and Fine. So this is a blog post, right? And I also stole some uh, snippets from somebody on the internet that you don't need to create all the blog entries so manually. And you just need to create a rec file. So if you don't know what a rec file is, it's something like a, a function that you can, uh, you can uh, say that, like a script where you can uh, help you automate lots of stuff, uh, but it's for Ruby, right? So cheat again and so this is a code snippet that you will automatically fetch the day and the title and so every time you want to write a write a blog post you just write, write uh, this is webcam sodium right <coughs> so all just these entries here three down there and you automatically create a blog post among that way for you and automatically create all this entry and yeah, you can write it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something I saw. Uh, this is cool. Right. Okay. Server. Maybe I should use multiple windows. Right. So. Yeah. So that's about blogging. Uh, the last thing I want to do is deploying, right? Deployment is a pain in the ass. 
and uh, but it's very easy using Jekyll because everything is in HTML, right? So any web host you can just copy the HTML file over, can host anywhere, even your home, so without worrying any scaling issue or whether server has PHP four or PHP five, right? Yeah. So, but I'm going to try to deploy in uh, Heroku. So Heroku, so the Jekyll has this little gem called Red Jekyll, right? Can you just get this running? So you just need a gem called Red Jekyll, and just need to do this little script. And I think I need to tell Heroku that I have this gem. Oh, wait. Let me just copy and paste. And then, okay. Uh, I need to because Heroku is using Git to push all your files to the server, so you need to initialize <coughs> in Git. And oh. yeah, 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 yeah. I need to use this first, right? Yeah, so I create a new Heroku account. Strong stream, okay, cool. So Heroku automatically create a subdomain site for me to host my free accounts called Stormstream, and I will push it to my Heroku. Oh, fast. It's 20 minutes. Wow. Okay, so I've pushed the Heroku. I'm going to open the site. Very slow is command. I'm just gonna copy and paste the URL. Oh, it's open. So yeah, it's deployed on Heroku. And yeah, actually, you can see this website from my computer. Uh, hopefully, everything is working. Yeah, everything is working. So. Yeah, that's about Jekyll. Uh, it's really cool. It's just H static HTML file. So I, I've write a little bit pros and cons about Jekyll. Can you see that? Yeah. Now you don't. <laughs> yeah. How do I? Oh, yeah. You need, you need the spaces. No, no, I need spaces. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hide this first. Okay. So there's no database. So you won't uh, need to worry about database stuff. There's no server and no dynamic file. So there's no dynamic file and everything is static HTML file. The server admin is actually on your computer, so nobody can hack into your website. No more hacking, fearing issue, except maybe uh, you went to the toilet and you forgot to log your computer. And you and, like Harinder, right? Yeah. And there's no security issue and there's no scaling issue. Uh, so hackermonthly.com, my my magazine website is built using Jekyll, and uh, monthly it got on, to on top of Hacker News front page, and no no scaling issue. Like the site is never down for most of the time. <coughs> yeah, and there's no way you could lose your data because it's using Git to sort all your data, right? So yeah, and you can write your blog post in your favorite editor, whether it's. Uh, Using TestMate or using IA Writer or anything. IA Writer support Markdown. You know that? It's really cool, yeah. And I also, but I, also, I think, so that's the pros of Jekyll. And here are the cons. Uh, the cons are there are absolutely no plugins for team community. So you cannot just go to somewhere and say, okay, download a team and you know, get a really good looking website in minutes. So, can I go to you know, Team Forest and download a 50 PSL team and you got a professional looking website? You have to write most of the thing yourself, or you can just go to GitHub and steal other people's code. Right? Uh, but, but what I think is actually a good thing because it actually helps you learn something. Like uh, when I just started to begin to learn programming, I actually learned a lot through Jekyll, right? Uh, I write my own CSS, I write my own HTML, I write my own Ruby code. A liquid templating engine and run my own a rec file, and you also have to rely on a lot of web services. Like as you can see, all these sites uh, it doesn't have any comments, 
right? Uh, so you have to use web services like Discuss. Uh, if you like form, there's no gravity form on WordPress, so you have to use Wufu, which also might be a good thing. So it's less hassle, right? You just have to pay them. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all about my presentation for Jekyll. For more information, you can go to jekyllrb.com. And yes, all the information there. So you have any questions? Later. Later? Discussion. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Thank you.